Most people don't know that there are tons of professional text animation presets built right into After Effects. Today, I'm gonna cover the 12 that I personally use the most. All I have is a simple text layer in a composition and to access all these presets, all you have to do is go to effects and presets in animation presets in text and in animate in. There's a ton of presets in here that are super useful, but these are some of the ones that I have found most helpful. Number one, fade up characters. So I'm just gonna drag and drop it onto my text. And if I hit U on my keyboard, I can go ahead and see that I already have uh, keyframes applied. Check it out. Number two is fade up lines, the next one down on the list. Now this is pretty similar to fade up characters, but this is just gonna do it by each line. So since my text here already has two lines to it, if I go ahead and play, it's gonna fade up the first line and then the second. And as always, you can hit U on your keyboard when you're clicked down in the composition area and you can drag these keyframes to adjust the duration and it's really that simple. Number three is fade up words, and yep, you guessed it, it's pretty similar to the last two, but nonetheless, very helpful, fade up words individually. And next one down on the list, number four is opacity flicker in. This one's a little more complicated, so sometimes I remove some of the keyframes just to make it a little more simple, but still incredible that we can get such a good effect right from a preset. And the next one, random fade up, number five. This is actually one of my personal favorites. I use this one a lot and it can create a really cool effect for animating text in. Especially if you hit U on your keyboard to show the keyframes, select the two that are already there with Command C and then Command V to paste and then go to time reverse keyframes. And then you have a really easy random fade up and then a random fade out. And number six, slide down by character. Now, if you really wanna take this effect to the next level, you can enable motion blur on that layer. It'll add just a really slight motion blur as that text moves and comes down. I talk about this and even more ways to improve your motion graphics. In my last tutorial, you can click in the top right of your screen if you wanna go check that out. Now, before we get to the last effects, I'm launching a free digital product within the next few weeks called the Ultimate Guide to Church Video Production that contains everything I know about church video production that I could write down. If you're interested in getting that, when it comes out completely free, all you have to do is sign up for my newsletter via the link down in the description and you'll be the first to know when I release it. All right, moving on, the next one, very similar to the last few, slide in by line. It really gets good when you apply an easy ease onto these keyframes. So you can just select them, right click, go to keyframe assistant and hit easy ease. It looks a lot better. And then number eight, this is a really cool one, slide in from Comp Edge. This one especially, I would definitely recommend enabling motion blur. So if I put my cursor uh, right around where there's a lot of motion and then enable motion blur, you can see it really turn on right there. And if we watch it again, looks awesome. That's slide in from Comp Edge. But the next one going right down the list is slide up by character. Again, very similar uh, to slide in from Comp Edge. And if I enable motion blur, it's gonna look really, really good. And the next one, again, very similar, but still extremely useful, slide up by word. If you have a smaller block of text, I definitely recommend slide up by character or one of the other ones, but this one still looks really, really good. You can see if we apply motion blur, still looks awesome. All right, number 11, getting here close to the end is slow fade on. This one's pretty basic, not super different from simply animating the opacity to fade text on, but as you can tell, it does fade on starting at the beginning at our very first character and it has a really nice roll off fading on until the very end. So still extremely useful. I really like using this one for really simple and easy text animation. All right, number 12 is a special one, the very last one. Many people see this effect being used in a ton of different areas and they don't realize just how easy it is to apply, and that is typewriter. Again, pretty simple and basic, but there are a ton of things you can do with this simple typewriter effect. 
Don't forget to sign up for my newsletter if you're interested in hearing when my church video guide drops and subscribe to my channel for more church video tutorials every week.